Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you so much for watching today. We're going over this fragrance called Voluptuous. Now, Voluptuous, with a name like that, it's got to be luxurious. It's got to be expensive and soft and creamy. That's what I think. And uh, with this label here, it kind of gives off a very uh, luxurious marble feel. Not sure what that means but this is a dual original expression just like their divine energy that i went over just a minute ago let's go over the notes here for this citrus aromatic classified fragrance calabrian bergamot lemon amalfi lime lemon verbena citron ginger pedigrain grapefruit juniper berries not juniper babies Orange, basil, cardamom, vetiver, sage, gayak wood, and ambergris. I guess I do get some ambergris in this fragrance. Uh, it says that it is a unisex fragrance, and I can see that, but I would have guessed it's more masculine, slightly because it has groundedness to it. I'm not saying women can't wear this. Of course, they can wear whatever they want. I feel like I have to say that nowadays, but you know that if you're watching this. Okay. Now, do I get a lot of citrus notes out of this fragrance? I would say it's there, especially when you spray it, they do kind of blossom out of the scent profile, but it's not like a fruit basket here. So if you're looking for something super mass appealing that's good for teenagers, I would say this is not going to be for you. If you want something that can be dressed up and very regal, and this is not just because of the name, I'm saying it's because of its powdery nature that's in here. I'm not saying it smells like baby powder. I feel like I'm always saying something and then backtracking. Well, that's how it is with fragrances, right? You say one thing, you go, well, it's not quite like that. It's like this, but not all the way there. It's here. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully you guys kind of get my logic here. It's powdery, but not baby powdery. It's not going to remind you of like infants running around. This smells regal. It smells powerful. It smells... Um, light too but it has staying power <laughs> there i go again right it's one or the other it's down the middle of all these characteristics i'm listing and what i'm trying to say is it's not immature it's not something you've smelled before i haven't smelled before you know where you might have smelled something like this in the dua catalog where they have the most high-end inspirations from and that explains why i haven't smelled it before unless it was from dua uh, the other fragrances I have are like from the mall. They're like Invictus, they're like Sauvage. This does not smell like that. This is not some mass appealing type of like body wash fragrance. This is clean, but grounded, and it's regal, rich, and you can definitely dress this up. And I think if you have that certain quality, this is not really a bad boy fragrance, I wouldn't say, you know, if that makes any sense. I hate categorizing things like that, but we all have that certain uh, categorization happening in our heads, right? Based on what we watched on TV growing up or our relatives and friends in the past. I would say this is not a bro -y fragrance. This is not smelling something that is very mass appealing like Lamal. This smells like, I don't know, like Prada a little bit but stronger and uh, a bit more higher quality ingredients because it's not over the top powdery. It's not like, ugh, like totally soapy, but it's very clean, has a powdery soapiness that um, a person who's very sure of himself would wear. It doesn't have a dark, deep grounded of earthy vetiver, nothing like that. So if you want to smell clean and powdery and have that whole void in your collection filled, this might work for you. The only issue is it's kind of expensive for what it is, but Dua has these kind of uh, sales happening, these 25%, 15% sales right now. Oftentimes they even have a 30% sale. So if you wait for that, you can save some cash and get a few other ones that I'll mention today. Um, the other issue is it might not have it at that time. This might run out and it kind of alludes to the fact that the notes and the ingredients are hard to come by. I think they're very specific to this fragrance that it may not come back for a long time. So this might be vaulted and the value might skyrocket. Not adding any hype, just saying that's what happens with things that we can't get our hands on. So um, do I recommend it for you? Yes, get a sample if you can. But if you are looking to try something new and you like the clean, soapy, powdery feel without being too dark, then I would say this is a pretty safe bet for you.
Thank you guys so much for watching. On to the next one. See you next time.